Question number four. So question number four reads, if the function f of x is equal to 5x minus 12, what is the inverse of f of x? Okay. So uh, like I described previously, so the function f of x connects the, has basically connects the domain of a function to its range. So, okay, so the inverse function basically connects the range of the original function back to its domain. So it kind of like, it's like a, um, a reverse like mechanic, right? So it basically returns the range back to its domain, right? So in this case, the, the domain of the inverse function is the range of the original function, and the domain of the original function is now the range of the inverse function. So that's how the inverse works, okay? And the main method of finding the inverse of a function is as such. Basically, what we're going to do is that we're going to first state our original function, and we're going to swap our value, our variable x, or our independent variable for our dependent variable. So first we're going to do this, x equals 5 f of x minus 12. So once we swap it, now we're going to isolate and solve for f of x again. So to do that, we're going to move 12 to the other side, so x plus 12, and we're going to also divide both sides by f of x, or by 5, and this is what we get. f of x equals x plus 12, divided by 5. And this is how you simply find the inverse function. And finally, we're just going to write f of inverse, because that's the correct notation, equals x plus 12 divided by 5. Okay, so that's how you find the inverse function. You basically swap your independent and dependent variable, whatever they are, and then you want to solve for the dependent variable again. And by doing so, you're able to find your inverse function. Okay, so this solution is correct. Good work. Okay.